Each day, doctors diagnose thousands of Americans with Alzheimer's. It's a devastating illness, as anyone who's been near it knows, one that often robs its victims of memories, the ability to communicate, while taking all an enormous toll, really, on relatives and caregivers in many cases. Now a pharmaceutical giant has announced it is giving up on treating Alzheimer's. The Pfizer drug company reports it will stop trying to develop new drugs to treat both Parkinson's and Alzheimer's after too many expensive trials have just flat out failed. Company executives say about 300 people will lose their jobs in, this, in the cutback. But for others, this decision presents a loss of hope. Let's turn to Jerry Willis from the Fox Business Network. I, explain the impact here. I mean, if, if you are one of the many millions of families dealing right. with this, it just must be heartbreaking. I would, I would think this Estimate. is heartbreaking. So think about it. 5.5 million people in the country live with Alzheimer's. They've got family. Another million live with Parkinson's. They've got family. So you take those numbers, that's 6.5 million times four, times five, times mm. six. You know, it circles uh, of folks when somebody's sick in your family. You sure. know how that works. Or in your close friend circle. It's just very yep. hard. It's, it's very difficult. 300 people losing their jobs, as you mentioned. But I think it's the people who have these diseases who are most impacted. And let me tell you, the, the response on social media, not pretty today. Oof. They Good. really got slammed. Uh, if I could, I want to just tell you what the company itself had to say because okay. this is important as you said they failed before they're getting out of something they failed at before mm -hmm. and that's that's not stupid I gotta no. say Michael Dolson he runs their global uh, R&D he says the change in our R&D productivity uh, highlighting the opportunity for up to 15 blockbuster product approvals over the next five years so here's what they're saying they're saying hey look we've got other stuff that's coming out not in this category mm -hmm. but other drugs that will be meaningful to people out there 15 drugs over five years. So it's not like we're throwing in the towel on everything. We've got other stuff that's important and coming out. He did not detail what they are, so I don't know if it's an impotency drug or if it's a cancer drug or what mm -hmm. it is. Are, are other companies still doing Alzheimer's research yeah. and Parkinson's research? So a lot of people have failed at this too. There have been other failures as well, but Biogen, Teva, Merck, Eli Lilly, these are all companies that are still working oh, good. specifically on Alzheimer's that affect so many people out here. Let me tell you, the, the reaction on uh, Twitter has been so forceful, We're reading people talking about it. What they're putting it together with is tax reform. We give you tax reform you get out of production or trying to make these kinds of drugs. People very uh, upset, depressed about this, mm -hmm. not enjoying it. The, the stock, though, barely moved today. Huh. Wall Street shrugged their shoulders and just kept going on. Yeah, seems to be one direction down there. Yes, and that would be up. Yes, it is. Good to see you, Jerry. Good to see you. Thank you.